Well, that went downhill fast. If you've been following AI video tools, you know that OpenAI's Sora started out letting users generate pretty much anything, including stuff based on famous characters or brands. But with the recent rollout of Sora 2, they flipped the script. Now they're blocking a ton of prompts tied to copyrighted intellectual property to avoid lawsuits. And on top of that, their safety filters are even rejecting everyday ideas that aren't even risky or illegal. It sparked huge debate online, or just a lot of people hate it, whichever way you want to look at it, with creators frustrated about the limits and rights holders pushing back on how it all works. In this video, I'll break down what changed, why it's happening, and what it means to regular users like us trying to have fun with AI video generation. First, let's take a look at this Reddit thread from our open AI. It's been nuked by mods, but the title alone screams frustration. Users are venting about how Sora 2's filters are killing creativity, and the removal just proves how touchy the topic is. Take this refusal, for example, where someone wanted to generate a pretend news report in black and white that's supposed to look like it's from the 1960s about Godzilla in a city. Now, this is parody. Why they would block this as intellectual property is beyond me. Now check this media upload agreement that users have to agree with before they upload something. OpenAI trains their models on scraped data that has copyright on it, allow it first, and then block it. It makes them look like hypocrites. Launch hype about freedom one day, nerf it the next day, it's bait and switch. They steal content one day, market it as hype, let people do whatever they want with intellectual property, and then suddenly block it. Even developers like Technium from Noose Research, a company that makes open source AI models, show that your prompt is rewritten behind the scenes by a language model. Why do you think stuff you didn't ask for in the prompt and some nuance actually shows up in the output? This is also the layer where the censorship obviously happens, where the prompt is rewritten. At this point, Sora is number one on the Apple App Store, and I think that's really what they were trying to do more than give users entertainment. This ties directly into my last video about how OpenAI needs computation power and they need money for it. They're claiming they're doing this to build better models that are smarter and will change the world, and we're hoping that they will spend some of the money on that. But in the end, they're going to need to market this and make money, and they had to do a lot of hype and a rug pull to do so. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what your mindset is on this, because I want to know if you have any experience with trying to generate something that was intellectual property you thought is parody and were blocked, or something completely harmless and it still refused anyway. And if you had generated things without refusals on the first day, mention that too. That just makes it more interesting. If you found some value in this commentary, please click the like button. If you want to see me do more commentary on OpenAI and ChatGPT and other models, and if you want to see some tutorials and model tests on open source models, which are the antithesis to this type of corporate slop, please follow and subscribe. I will be glad to give you my take on the whole range of frontier models that are proprietary and open source. You can also follow me on X at Vectro for exclusive content and getting information out to you faster. I distill my research to save you time. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care of yourself.